The Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Palestine's feast day is on October 25. The Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Palestine, is celebrated in all the lieutenancies of the equestrian order around October 25, the exact date of the feast according to the liturgical calendar. However, the Solemn Mass for Our Lady is held on the last Sunday of the month of October, which is today, October 29. It was Patriarch Luigi Barlacina, on the occasion of his solemn entry into the Cathedral Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre on July 15, 1920, and the consecration of the diocese to Mary, who invoked the title of Queen of Palestine for the first time. The special relationship of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Palestine with the equestrian order of the Holy Sepulchre dates back to the pontificate of John Paul II. In 1983, 50 years after the institution of the feast, St. John Paul II, addressing the knights and dames of the lieutenancies of northern and central Italy, urged them to be witnesses of Christ in everyday life and to continue the work of the order in the Holy Land under the protection of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Ten years later, in 1993, the then Grand Master of the Order, Cardinal Giuseppe Caprio, asked St. John Paul II to declare of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Queen of Palestine, patroness of the Order. The Holy Father replied on January 21, 1994, by a decree granting the request. Let us pray to Mary for peace in the Holy Land. Prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of Palestine, extend your hand over the Holy Land and over all who live there. Jews, Muslims, Jews, and Christians, Palestinians, Israelis, migrant workers, and refugees. Our Lady, intercede for us all and especially for the Church, the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. We have been sent to preach good news to all in the land that is yours and his, the land of the patriarchs, kings, prophets, apostles, and of the first community formed to walk in the way of your Son, the Mother Church of Jerusalem. This mission needs the courage and the perseverance, the wisdom and the faith that were yours. Pray for us. On your knees, he who was your Lord and Master, learned to speak and to pray, to act and to obey. We ask you to teach us to speak and to pray, to act and to obey today in the land called to be holy. In the midst of war and hatred, walls, occupation and discrimination, fear and rejection, instruct us how to be instruments of justice and peace, pardon and reconciliation. We affirm with you that He is our peace. Show us the way to incarnate in our life as church both fidelity to your Son and an embracing love for all in this land, especially for those who are the poorest and the most excluded, the homeless, the refugees, the prisoners, those who are maltreated, oppressed, and are victims of injustice. Our Lady Queen of Palestine, you are our mother, given to us by your Son on the cross. With you, we are called to be witnesses to the resurrection that already heralds his kingdom. Modeling ourselves on you, we ask him to anoint us as spirit-filled proclaimers of the good news that he has vanquished death by his death on the cross and has given life to those in the tombs. May we, members of his body, the Church, be living signs that point to the kingdom that is already among us. Amen. Mother Mary, Queen of Palestine, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.